Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Indy. In this tutorial we will talk about importing PBR materials in Maverick Indy. First things first, let's open the material import scene. From the file menu select the new material ambience entry. This opens a simple illuminated sphere scene, with which we can very clearly see our imported materials. Let's open the materials panel. From the main toolbar, you will find a PBR button. Click it to open a file browser window. We will import a polygon material for example. Polygon.com sells very good PBR materials of many different kinds, they include all the necessary textures for a complete material appearance. They are well sorted in different categories and cover most of your everyday material needs. They have a material for everything. You will find many variations and plenty of different kinds for literally every use. Polygon also has a collection of free materials for you to evaluate their quality yourself. Back to Maverick, let's import one of their materials. We will import this marble for example. This simple material has just four textures. Simply double click on any of them, and the PBR dialog will show up. You can see all the available textures have been assigned to the appropriate Maverick standard materials inputs. The material model parameters are here to accommodate to different types of workflows. You can decide to specify your preferred workflow, especially when you are creating PBR material maps yourself. You can select the material source between generic, Adobe's substance or polygon. Since we're using a polygon material, we will select that last option. You can then override some defaults, such as the normal map intensity, ambient occlusion or subsurface scattering. We will leave it at that for now and press the import button. And here we have our marble material, that we can drag and drop directly on our object. And there you go, your material automatically configured and ready to use. Let's import another. Click the PBR button again, and browse for another material. We will use the purple flowers for example. Double click on one of the textures, it doesn't matter which one. The textures are properly detected and connected to the right input. We leave the material model option to auto, as it was properly detected, and we select the polygon preset again. The material has an opacity map. You can change the way it behaves, for example to create glass. This is not the case here so we leave the option to read as opacity and go ahead and import. Drag and drop the material and you're done. Let's see now how we can quickly change the material repetition or tiling. With the material selected, go to the attribute editor. You will find a button at the top called multi-tile. This will add a Maverick X form 2D node to every channel. You can now change the repeat X and Y, for example to 3. By clicking this button, you enable to change the tiling of every map simultaneously. And as usual you can reset any slider by right clicking on it. It's all very simple. Let's try another material, for example this interior design rug. We can see there are three different colors, and five different texture sizes from 1K to to high resolution. Maverick Indies PBR importer can handle all these textures in one go. Again, double click on any of them, and they are properly loaded into the right material channel. The material model is properly configured and the polygon option is still enabled from our previous import. Since that material had several different resolutions, the set's parameters at the bottom are now available. They allow you to select which of the variations you wish to use. You can see the textures names from the plug connections part updating as we change the set's settings. The different resolutions have also been loaded automatically and can be selected. Let's import the first variation at a 2K resolution. And drag and drop the material again, all configured and ready to use. Let's do this again. And this time we will use the second variation. And there you go, the pink variation is ready to use. Once again, but this time we will select the third variation, and click import. And here is the last color variation. Each of these materials are still independent in the scene and can be applied again. 
All right, let's move on to a different material. Click the PBR button again and we will import a metallic one. Like this metal designer weave steel. This material comes with a metalness texture, perfectly supported by Maverick. The material model parameters offer you the possibility to choose between a metallic rough and a specular gloss type. Although the metallic roughness model is becoming more mainstream, some material may use a specular glossiness model. In this case, the material uses a metalness texture, so we need the metallic rough option. Click Import and apply the material. And there it is, all configured properly as a metal. Let's try the same one but as a specular glossiness material. Load the textures again, select the specular gloss option, and import. Applying the material shows that there is virtually no difference, as it should be. The specular gloss variant renders exactly the same as its metallic rough counterpart. Perfect. Let's see even more materials. This varnished wood, for example. This material comes with a glossiness map which qualifies it for the specular gloss model. But the importer detects it properly using the auto mode. If we selected the specular gloss model manually, as this material is not a metal, we would have to enable the dielectric option. Every material in the real world that is an insulator or bad electricity conductor such as wood, is a dielectric. This is also true for glass, concrete or paper and so on. Basically every non-metal material. And here is our perfectly configured wood. You can rotate the lighting to see the reflections at different places, by holding the control and shift keys and using the right mouse button. From the lighting library panel, in the material ambiences subcategory, you will find different lighting presets for your material presentation. Feel free to try them and find the one that works best for you. If none of the presets is to your liking, you can learn how to create your own lights. The link at the top right corner of this video will bring you to a tutorial on the subject. Alright, let's try some more materials from a different source, 3dtextures.me. This website proposes a collection of PBR materials, completely free. 3dtextures.me's owner has a Patreon and provides these materials free of charge. We encourage you to register and donate if you can, to help him continue creating new free materials. We will now import one of these materials, for example this metal grill. Again, simply double click on any texture to start the import. The importer recalls our last choices, like the polygon source. But this time we need to use the generic preset. The generic option will attempt to properly load textures from a wide variety of sources, as long as the file's names provide intel on which channel it represents. This material has an ambient occlusion texture, so let's enable AO and change the ambient occlusion color to better see what it does. You can also apply the ambient occlusion map to reflections, with a custom percentage of how much it impacts them. Let's import and check the result. Apply the new metal grill material. Move the camera closer to inspect the material. First thing to check is the normal map direction, make sure bumps are bumps, and holes are holes. It appears it isn't the case, the normal map direction seem to be inverted. Click on the bump normal channel of the material, and switch the flip Y toggle off. There are two main kinds of normal maps around, and the most common one needs the flip Y toggle to be enabled. The normal map now looks correct. It represents holes as holes, and bumps as bumps. It can be difficult to determine if a normal map requires the flip Y toggle, so get closer and inspect your materials if you have any doubt. The red color that we can see a bit everywhere and particularly in the metal mesh holes, is coming from our decision to tint the ambient occlusion red, to see what it does better. If you go to the materials diffuse channel, you'll see the diffuse color map has been mixed with a solid red color using the Maverick composite texture. The second layer weight is set to 0.5, which is the 50% set in the importer dialog. Alright, let's take a look at another example. Like this hammered metal. 
As this texture set still comes from the same source, we will disable the flip Y toggle, as it is not needed. This time we will not use ambient occlusion either. So disable both toggles for diffuse color and reflections. Apply the material. And this time again, the material is perfectly configured, looking exactly as it was in the painting application. If the normal or bump map effect feels too low, simply go to the material's bump and normal channel and increase the strength value, to 3 for example. Remember that you can rotate the environment lighting to check your material, by holding the control and shift keys and the right mouse button. Let's try another, like those tiles. Again, double click any of the textures. We are using a generic source, auto material model and the normals flip Y toggle is disabled. We simply import, and apply the material and we're done. It hardly can get simpler than that, and this feature is compatible with almost all collections that can be found or purchased online. Now let's give a go to the popular substance materials, and in particular to those you can find at Substance Source. Substance Source proposes one of the largest collection of very high quality materials to use with PBR compatible render engines. Substance Painter or Designer materials often exhibit amazing procedural shapes and volumes to create very unique renders. We highly recommend to give it a try. We will start with this beach sand. As usual, double click on any of the available textures. Leave the material model to auto, and switch the material source to substance. Drag and drop the material, and there again it has automatically been configured and looks stunning in just a few clicks. Get closer to appreciate the amazing quality these substance materials have to offer in Maverick. Simply amazing. We will try another. Like this basketball material. All textures properly loaded in their respective channels. These materials come with the necessary textures to accommodate to metallic rough and specular gloss models, automatically detected by Maverick Indies importer. Let's go and import. And the material is once again perfectly imported, with amazing quality. Move the camera closer to appreciate the details. Let's go for another one like these cobblestones. This time we will enable ambient occlusion again, see how it affects that kind of material. Change the color to a very distinct one, like green for example. Our model and source settings are still valid, so let's go ahead, click import and apply the material. And there you can see in green color where the ambient occlusion applies. Let's change this green to something more realistic. Like for the metal material earlier, select the cobblestones material and go to the diffuse color channel. Drag the slider to see how it changes the material. Change the color, for example to a light brown, or use a darker color to create the intended shadowing the ambient occlusion channel was designed for. Move the second layer's weight slider to see how it affects the material appearance. Let's import a science fiction material. Double click on any texture. Our settings still apply from our previous import. We will leave the ambient occlusion out for this time. And here it is, looking absolutely gorgeous with its excellent normal map details. Importing PBR materials in Maverick Indie is remarkably easy. Now the last step after importing all those materials. It would be handy to save the ones we like the most to the library to be able to use them on any other model. The first thing to do is to generate the rendered previews. Select the materials by holding the shift key and click the play button from the materials library. A progress bar will show up and display the thumbnail's rendering progression. When done, all the selected materials thumbnails previously showing an empty checker are now displaying a rendered preview. Simply click the Save to Library button now. A dialog informs you the materials were saved to the Scene Library folder. Switch to the Library Shading tab, and expend the Scene folder. 
Since we haven't saved our scene, the folder containing our materials is named Untitled Document. Otherwise, the folder name would match our scene's file name. If we drag and drop a material now, the name conflict pop-up will appear. Indeed, these materials are still existing in the scene. You can reuse, rename or replace. We will use replace to be sure that the material we saved is the one we are going to use now. Here are our saved materials being applied, one after the other. We have covered everything there is to know about importing PBR materials in Maverick Indy. This tutorial was longer than usual, as we demonstrated many examples, but the process is very simple. We hope you enjoyed this video and will put this amazing feature to great use. Feel free to share your work on our social media, which links are in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick!